All right, vloggity vlog channel, we're back. Today, we're gonna be testing all YouTubers' products. We have a bunch of YouTuber products here. David Dobrik Pizza, I got Prime. Prime Energy, Mr. Feastables Bar, and he sent those to me. Whatever. Danny Duncan slides, I don't know how we're gonna test those, but we put them in the mix. And Miss Chamberlain's Coffee. Joining us today, testing all these products is Sam. We got my mom behind the camera in the cut, show your face. Boom, retention's down. Down, <laughs> There you okay. go, perfect. Perfect. Now, what do you think of all this stuff? Why is your chair so low? Here, I'll lower mine so I'm equal easier. Or my chair. I'm not better than everyone else. I'm doing a video on the main channel. The reason I'm doing this, I'm doing a video on the main channel, turning all this stuff into custom shoes. So I feel like I make a. We're gonna be brutally honest because I don't think any of these people are watching my vlog channel. Do you think so? Is it popping? No. No. <laughs> what the hell? Let's just start with Prime because I've already tasted it. I'm just gonna. You know, act like it's like my, my first reaction. Actually, I'm just gonna say my genuine opinion about it. Prime energy, prime energy. I think like I just got bamboozled. Right, you need some energy for this video. You need to hype the energy up. It We're smells on YouTube, like, not Twitter. It smells like. Dude, um, it's a taste test. You, okay, taste it. It tastes like pixie stick powder. That's actually really good. Like, that's actually, I actually agree with that. It's a little too sweet. I also don't like sweet things. Like, I don't love sweet sweets, but but it's like good. Like, honestly, for an energy drink, all energy drinks taste like energy drinks. So it tastes like energy drink. Okay, wait, speaking of the other ones, do you think you could tell the difference between that and Gatorade? Blind test. Yeah, that was so played out. She, we, we had this plan before and she tried to, okay. <laughs> you guys set this up? So, yeah, yeah we set it up, oh. we set it up. We fake our videos so much. You're gonna see me guys react on the main channel to all this stuff again. I'm gonna like double react to all of it. It's all fake on that channel. This is where we keep it real. This is my first reaction. That channel, I just lied to him. Actually, blind yourself. <laughs> Be a transabled. You see that video? What, or that can lady I pause this and I'll Okay, well, that should tell you something. Which one, which color do you want to rather have in your body? Can I turn around? Yellow flavor. Ready? Okay. Okay. Now, that's the first one. Now, this is the second one. Do you put sugar in one of them? Which one's better? Like the second one felt like you took like a okay, half okay, cup stop, of sugar. Okay, okay, stop, 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 stop. Boom. I'm gonna get my number blocked. Why do you drink like that? Oh, that was very really odd. Wait a minute. I genuinely don't know. I swear to God, I don't know. On God, you don't know. I, on God, I don't know. I actually thought both of those were good. I thought the first one was Gatorade, and then I said the second one, and then I was like, no, that's the Gatorade. I think the first was Prime. Is that your final answer? Yeah. No. No, I'm I like the second one better. First. Prime was sweeter, but for a small, like, sip, that, that, like, I liked it better. Why would you do that? Using your hands is more retention, I swear. You know that Indian dude who reviews, uh, tech? No. I saw someone revealed how he gets so many views and it was because he does this when he sits down. I'm going to be trying 10 of these things. See how it engages them more? Mark has brownie. And he sits down. These are five of the most expensive texts you probably never heard of. Now let's start the video. You were watching. You both were engaged. Know. What's your overall rating for Prime out of 10? 10 being amazing. 10 being Gatorade. Oh, I'm just kidding. Probably like a five. Five? Yeah. Let's put it that way a little. I'm the star of the show. Also guys, I know I haven't posted on this channel for so long, I forgot to address the rumors, the allegations of me not posting in two months. But I haven't posted in two months, and I don't know why. Why have I not posted? Cause you're ugly? Yeah, I've just been focused on the main channel, and I just forgot about this, forgot about you guys. Next up is Feastables. You know when you get like a Pokemon pack, and you're a kid, or like a baseball card pack, and you're holding them, and you're like, oh my god, I don't wanna open them, cause I love the way they feel in my hands, they just feel so cool stacking top of the If you know what I'm talking about, you're gonna know what I'm talking about. This is how that feels, it just feels so good, I just wanna put it in my pocket. I'd go to school like this. Just let them fucking know. But like something that says Mr. Beast sent me this. Feel like a collectible item. It does. And it does, huh? I also have to say, I forgot to say about Prime and the bottles and the logo and the, that's so just intriguing. so good. It's it so good. It makes you want it Like so I put bad. this up, I feel like I want to put this up in my room as a decoration. I'd rather have these as a decoration than a drink. I'm gonna read the um, ingredients for this. Cane sugar, organic cocoa butter, organic chocolate liquor, organic milk, and organic vanilla powder. That's that literally That sounds it. good. <laughs> Look at me. Dude, don't film that. <laughs> Dude, you're gonna get fired on God. I'm gonna get emancipated. I wanna try to Why is it a little curved? Some people like that. This is really good. Pretty good, actually. I like this chocolate a lot. You know what I've noticed? I've had all this stuff sitting up in my, in my kitchen for a, a couple months now. Whenever my friends come over, they grab the Feastables right away, and they open it, and they bite it, and they finish the whole bar. That's what I've noticed. Okay. You saw the D's Nuts commercial? Did he get, they, like, banned or something come out? No, they had uh, Chris do the D's Nuts bar commercial, and I was like, this is great. It's so good. This is so good. The only thing I would change is I would make an Oreo flavor bar. Ew. And if you don't make that ASAP, I'm gonna 
I don't even know. I'm not gonna do anything. Did you see that face where I got this whole vending machine? Mr. Beast bar, 10 out of 10. I gave Mr. Beast bar 10 out of 10. Straight up. It was good. Why does Mr. Beast have a chocolate? It doesn't make like, like, is he like a, you know? He's so smart that I don't even question it. Next up, we're gonna be testing Danny Duncan slots. Mmm! <laughs> I just love that. Yeah, hey, taste test that one and I'm gonna I'm hold this one as show. Oh my god, do you know what it smells like? Oh, it smells like a new slot. No, it smells like enchiladas. Bro. It does. Look at the bottom, 69 all over. Danny Duncan's face right on the bottom. Danny Duncan right here. Why does Danny Duncan look like a scary McDonald's? That looks so good. Yeah? You have very nice like. I don't know why. I, I just included these because, you know? He sent me a care package of merch and I was like, I felt grateful because I'm, I'm actually a fan of him. Mr. Dobrik David's Pizza. I'm going to tell you guys a story. And it's a story, should I share? We got this three days ago. We haven't tried it yet. Just going to be honest. You didn't hear good things about it? No. I didn't hear good things about it either. And I don't know David Dobrik, so I'm gonna really be honest here. We got two slices, guys. We got a cheese pepperoni. These are empty boxes. I just got these boxes because you'll see in the main channel video, I'm gonna use these for the art on the shoe. But boxes anyway. Boxes were free and the people that worked there were very nice. This is three day old pizza. I popped in the microwave for 45 seconds. We're still gonna give it a try. I'm not. You are. First thing I noticed, come here. Look at those, look at those pockets. Watch, mm -hmm. I'm gonna dunk it out. <laughs> See, I don't know if that's a good sign. I'm not an oil fan. I don't know if anyone is an oil fan. Is that a thing to like oil? Open your mouth. No, no, no. You gotta. No, 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 no. No. We're not doing that. No. That is. That's something we wouldn't film on this channel, and we're gonna blur your face the whole video if you do that. The pepperoni looks like little suction cups. You don't like it? No. The pe the pepperoni is so thick. It is three days old. Do you know what this tastes like? Chuck E. Cheese pizza, I swear, not in an insulting way, but just exactly like Chuck E. Cheese pizza. I also don't know what pizza has to do with David Dobrik. I don't You're know. An idiot. I, what? He's an idiot. What? Dobrik. Yeah, it's Dobrik. the name, but like, does he, is he like a pizza fanatic? It would have made sense if he opened a Chipotle or something. It's like one of those toys you get at McDonald's and then you stick it to the table <laughs> and then you wait for it to pop up. <laughs> I will That's, say though, this is some thick cut It's so pepperoni. thick. Look at how thick that but is. People probably like that. I would rate this like a 6.5, 7 out of 10. Oh, it's just way too much dough. I don't taste anything else. I would go to the restaurant, get this pizza, try it, and I would never go back. I would just be like, oh, that was fun. What a good experience. Like, everyone rates it poorly. I wonder why. Like, obviously, People like, love to hate. Bit. People love to hate. Right. That's one thing, though. I don't want to be like a hater in this video, but people love to hate. Even myself, you know, whenever you try a product or a food that someone's who's not in that department, you're looking for things to say bad about them, you're never looking for things to say good about them. They're looking, oh, what can I criticize about right. this person's new product? At the end of the day, literally all these are good. They're all good. Like if I didn't know the people behind them, I'd be like, this is cool, you like it, I like it, it's good. <laughs> Next up, and I think this is our last one. I had a couple more I was gonna do. I'm going to phase runs tomorrow to do the one-up challenge thing because it's at his house, and I'm gonna film that and add it in another vlog. I'm gonna get a whole separate video out of that. Featuring phase rug. Chamberlain coffee. My mom brewed these up. One of these is a Starbucks pod, and one of them is a Chamberlain coffee pod. Oh my gosh, did you brew them the same? Yeah. That's light years different. This was so much more watery. I think the whole point of coffee is to drink it and you feel something. I drink my coffee black every morning, and I wanna drink it and I wanna make this face. And then I want to open that face and I want to feel like a superhero, like I have some energy. So I, that's the whole point of drinking coffee. Emma, Starbucks. Oh. <laughs> Starbucks was the strong one. Emma was the not strong one. But I'm pretty sure most girls like the ice vanilla latte. Blah, blah, blah. And the packaging is so, I'm not even going to be weird or girly. But this is so cute. This oh, is yeah. so cute. Look at this one. Look, there's a little sleepy sloth and he's throwing up a freaking doubles. Look he's throwing sheep. up deuces. Look at the little sheep. Sorry. Does she have a dog the right there? Getting ready to get it from the back. I don't know what that position is right there. Smell this. Are you ready? Open your nose. Open my nose? Number one, Mr. Feastables. Anyone can enjoy this. Affiliate link in the below. I'm just kidding. That'd be lit. <laughs> is that your number one? What's your number one? These nuts. Okay. Number two, Emma Chamberlain Coffee. Honestly, number three. Prime number three, Danny Duncan Slack. Even though it's not like a product that's like all the other products, like uh, these are swag. Is that this the only one left? Yep. Because if we have another one, I want to put before this. Lastly, Dobrik's Pizza. See you soon. No, thank you. Don't think so, buddy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not terrible. It's just like not the best one out of these. Out of these six, it is the worst. But that doesn't mean it's bad. I enjoy doing these videos. These videos are fun. I haven't filmed one of these for a long time. It feels good to film one of these again. The main channel videos, the part I enjoy about that is the art. This, I just enjoy talking. The main channel, I feel like I cut out a lot of stuff where I'm saying my opinions because it's like, Oh, that might not be good for your attention. Thanks for watching, guys. YouTuber products. And I'm going to post every single week on this channel, I promise. Not, not lie. So. Didn't you promise them that last time? Yeah, I promised a bunch of stuff. doesn't matter. I can just delete the video. They forget I promised it.